springtime here at the uh, homestead in Maryland, Super Wrench Garage. And I went to one of my local tree guys and I said, hey, uh, I need some wood chips to do some mulching, particularly around the garden to kill off some of the grass. And the guy said, oh, sure, no problem. Look at the size of this pile. I've got an, if wood chips were money, I would be rich. So there's our, there's the wood chips. These are gonna get spread around. And I think these are, these are hardwood chips. I think they're uh, cedarish. They smell it anyway. Hi, neighbor dogs. Boomer, back up, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, huh? Hi, Bella. Oh, hi, dude. Then, of course, here's the, the part one finished swing set. Consists of a 12 foot uh, beam, uh, pressure treated. It's a uh, four by six by 12. Two brackets that I picked off up off of Amazon. Uh, eight foot four by four posts on either end. And then I used two by four by eight and uh, two by six by eight bracing. So that has worked out quite nice. Hi, dog. Whoa. And well, Boomer, Boomer's quite happy it's spring, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, are you gonna sit? Oh, you found a baseball. Look at that. Sit. Good boy, you're getting big. Yes, you are. You've been requested on YouTube, so there we go. And then the other thing I've built is this uh, garden bed. And this is the area where the wood chips are going to go. We're going to break down that bed in the background there, slide the compost bins down. Going to use that fill dirt and that dirt to uh, fill that in. Yeah, Emmy. I'm in the backyard, baby. And then we're going to use this bed for hugo culture or hill culture. We're going to put sticks and leaves and stuff in for about six or eight inches maybe 10 inches and then we're going to layer in our garden soil so it'll be enriched we might even take pseudo compost and put that in so we'll see anyway that's what's been going on around the super wrench garage not a lot of garage stuff but uh outside projects well we made a lot of progress today and uh as you can see we've got our wood chips spread out there's our garden bed and we got a nice layer going. Next step is going to be break this guy down and sieve the soil and get the crap out of it. These are going to go away and we're going to build a second bed and use that as a compost bin and sieve that dirt and put it into the first bin. And we're going to keep the wood chips away from the foundation. I'm going to probably bring those back a couple more feet. So that'll be tomorrow morning. I also, since I have a ton of them, started putting some wood chips over here. This area between the two big trees was notorious for not growing any grass. So we're just gonna mulch it. What the heck? And lastly, I put some mulch over by that lone pine tree. Really bizarre that the video function doesn't have a pause on the iPhone. And as you can see, the, the pile is getting smaller. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Catch you in the next video.